This week started off with news that continues sending shockwaves throughout the low country and even across the nation. Monday, a fight broke out at Forest Hills Elementary School, resulting in fifth grader Renaya Wright being airlifted to MUSC. Wednesday, Renaya died. I've been following this very sad story all week, and here's what we know now. Mother of a fifth grader is preparing for her daughter's funeral after she was hurt during a classroom fight with another girl at Forest Hills Elementary Monday. Ten-year-old Renaya Wright died Wednesday, and the news is leaving parents shocked and wanting answers. You don't want to get a call saying the worst happened to your child and no one can really tell you what's going on. Where was the teacher? I mean, how, where was anybody that should have been supervising these children? Thursday, the Colleton County School Board held a nearly three-hour-long closed-door meeting meeting discussing the fight. No cameras or witnesses were allowed during the executive session. Brief statements were made by board chairman Tim Mabry and superintendent Dr. Franklin Foster. No questions were allowed at the meeting and no new details were provided. So I tried asking the chairman my own questions. Is there anything you all can confirm as far as if there was a substitute there, if the school district's holding themselves accountable? I even chased down board member Harry Jenkins. You feel like no one should know what happened as of right now? I think the public has a right to know, but we don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize the investigation. Thursday night, the Walterboro community came together in prayer after heartbreak. Please hear our cry. Friday, an autopsy was performed on Renaya. A news conference at the Colleton County Sheriff's Office was held, but no results, no updates, and we couldn't ask questions again. At this point, we will not disclose any other particulars in the investigation nor, unfortunately, at this time can we take any questions. The sheriff's office says they are in no rush and their investigation could also take several weeks. So now we wait as questions continue to rise about what happened to Renaya Wright.